Hello everybody, uh, welcome to this class. This is advice on developing reading skills. This is our week number four. So let's start here. We are find, we're finding six problems for some teachers. So in this case, we have to match these problems right here with some possible solutions that you're seeing right here. So you have to do this, but in this case, I will help you with the first one and later we are going to solve the problem of each one of the teacher according to our to my experience maybe with your ideas too okay so number one says where i work it's difficult to find authentic language tests for my learners to read okay this is letter d Perhaps you can look on the internet for tests. Remember, tests don't have to be articles, but any journal that your learners enjoy in their own language. Mm. Such as advertisements, blogs, or tweets. Oh, but not 10% authentic. You can make up something short, like test messages yourself, you can use material in course books too. Be careful with copyright. <laughs> that is letter D. So what else can we say in this case? Most of the time, it's very important, as I told you, to make a survey to know your students' interests. That's why in this case we can work on it. And you can find authentic language tests for your learners to read because most of the time they must be really interested for them. And of course, they have to enjoy it at reading. So you can do that. So be careful also with the copyright in some cases, but most of the times it's much better to teach create their own material. Mm -hmm. But that's amazing. Number two, whenever I use real English language tests for my learners, they found them too difficult to read. It's important to take into account the level of English of your students. That's why you have to make a pretest maybe in order to know their level of English and be careful with that because if we fa if we give our students some real English test that it's really complicated for them of course it's a challenge and it's very nice but your students won't see like this they think that it's very difficult and they don't want to continue reading and they stop and they hate reading so try to give something easy step and step 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 and step little by little Okay, until you face a really challenge of reading this. Because do not do not forget about this, about uh, the Ministry of Education. Our students from high school, from public school, they must get the A2, taking account the common European framework of English. Yes, don't forget about it. So when Marco como Europeo, must be A2. So they try to present a uh, reading test like this. Okay. It's important to take into account this. That's why it's important to give reading some some reading that they really like a lot, and later give like academic reading because it's important to first of all that the student enjoys reading, and later you can challenge them. Mm -hmm. My classes are too big to do part and group reading activities. Wow, that is a huge challenge. What can we do? Hmm, really interesting. I think we can make groups of work. Okay, so most of the time you can have a, a time of class where students individually can read some part of the test and later they can group, they can make, they can work in groups according to this test that they read and they can provide ideas, maybe they can find some specific information and all the strategies that we learned in this class. So it could be an idea that you can work individually and later in groups, whole groups, right? There is not enough time in my curriculum to spend in my silent reading. So this is just a teacher plan. So you need to plan this because most of the time, do not forget it as a future English teachers, don't focus on exactly or follow exactly the curriculum or the content especially. Okay, the curriculum is really important, of course. The communicative approach is necessary at all. So, and by this way, you need to uh, pay attention 
on the product and this curriculum uh, approach, but not exactly in the content. I mean, you need to teach simple person do not pay attention at all of the grammar structure or spend a lot of time on that. On that. Just uh, try to make a product about the communicative approach that that simple person can work it into their daily life. Okay, make, make it important, the grammar structure. But from zero to 100%, just pay attention on a 40% in the grammar structure of, of some topics and give them the, the main idea about it. That's why in this case, you can propose your sign of reading as at the beginning of the class and you make a purpose. I mean, in this class, the purpose, I mean, that's in, it's my... Uh, save water. Okay, this is a test about save water. Please start uh, reading in silence. Just later, you propose some pre-reading pre -reading activities where they have to get some important definition from the test. Later, they read the test, and during the test, they have to complete some valuable information, and at the end, they answer some question about specific information that they have to get on later critical thinking ideas, not where they have to speak or maybe they have to write. So make it important, not make it boring. <laughs> of course, at the end of the class, try to set the goals of the lesson. Number five. My learners say that reading is boring. Yes, sometimes. So you have this problem. Try to provide your students. Okay, so fun reading activities to complete. Okay, I mean, comics, some news, some blogs, some twitters from famous authors uh, or, or superstars. I don't know. Something like this. So try to make it fun. Or maybe you can create a story by yourself as an English teacher and you present to your students. So they will think that reading is really fun and interesting indeed. So step by step you can do that and later you have to challenge them and present a, a difficult test. Yes, that is true, but at the end, much better. That's why it depends most of the time of the level of English on our students. Number six. My learners panic and stop reading when they don't understand a word. That's why we need to practice here our pre-reading activities. We have to propose them some activities that they have to get some definitions or some ideas of some important vocabulary or difficult vocabulary that they will face during their reading. That's why a teacher must prepare right upper reading activities. Can be match the picture with the word or maybe guessing the definition, something like this. Okay, so must be attention in pre-reading activities and some activities that the students uh, that you know that there are some words that you, sh you are very sure that your students won't understand. So you can help them in order to understand much better the reading and they feel motivated to learn. And the most important to participate most of the time. As I told you many times, don't see reading as an evaluation. See reading as a way to improve their knowledge and the critical thinking exercises are there ready. To f their students are ready to face that. My learners read aloud <laughs> quite well, but don't seem to understand the meaning. Mm, really interesting. In this case, we recommend you to, to apply skimming and scanning at reading techniques. No? Because most of the time we need to find specific information. You have to tell your students about these strategies in order that they have to they can improve their reading skills also and also can understand something about the main idea about it. Yes, that is very important too, to apply. Mm -hmm. And of course, we can help our students to give some clues in order to understand the meaning of one test by pictures, by summaries, by anecdote, by, no, 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 not that, by your own experience maybe, could be. So see a way that they have to uh, or maybe that if maybe that technique is not good for him that they read aloud. Search for another activity to in this case the student, the student can understand the meaning. As I told you, there are some strategies like, for example, tell the story by your own experience. Ah, oh, you know, guys, I had that experience before. I was with, a, with some group of friends and we made us an investigation or a research about. The importance of saving water here in Tagano. So they can understand much better by understanding or later with other activities 
that are much dynamic, right? By pictures, by some exercises, by videos too. So there are many different ways to solve the problem. Thank you. Do you match it? Something else. Tips to help students build better reading skills. Uh, and let's say a highlight test. Yes, this is very important to underline the most important ideas. This is true. Um, personalize the context. Students can increase their understanding by seeing how the material contacts with their life. Yes, that is very true. Most of the time, try to connect the reading test with your daily life or some experience that you live before or someone live and you can remember that and you can apply it. You can connect the ideas. Mm -hmm. Practice problem solving skills. Yes, of course. Most of the time when we read something, try to think about this. What can I do if I were the, the main character here? Or how can I connect this reading test with my daily life or my society in my, my my experience as a student, as a student of university? Incorporate more, more senses. Here it says, add, a, add in activities that reinforce learning and comprehension by using more senses as they read. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, that's true. Here says, have your students take turns reading out loud, use projectors, guide your lessons. Yeah, could be. There are many different ways to engage a reading. For example, when a student read and the another continue later when they stop, okay, what is uh, the feedback here? What do you understand until now? What is your opinion about it? How can we do it? Or you can put the test into a projector or someone is speaking and try to to act the reading like this in, in order that they have the in order that all students can get the main idea understanding common things that is true there is always a message a message on the test that we are reading self-reading goals yes now it depends here of each student in this case here says they, this can help them take action in building reading skills and students will be more mindful of how they are improving. Just of course, always we have to tell students that they need to read a lot in order to get much knowledge and of course they can apply their knowledge in many different ways of their lives. Mm -hmm. Reading portions, that is true also, that is excellent idea. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to read every day, every day Every day in our lives, we hit, we need to read about many different topics. Not necessarily topics that it's about pandemic. Could be something that you really like, but step by step. Mm -hmm. Students uh, here said, "Let the students guide the reading." Yes, yes, I think so. Mm -hmm. Not everything it's about homework or academic uh, purposes. But anyway, we have to guide our students to the reading purpose, indeed. That they need to know about some important information about our topics and also some valuable information that they need to reinforce their skills. Because you, as teachers, you know the skills of each of your students. So you can recommend them to read specifically something about how, how she or maybe he can improve his or her abilities according to what they know. Maybe, for example, someone is really good at drawing, so you can give some books about this or some experience of uh, different drawers and so on. We have to strengthen their abilities. And that's it. Wow, takes a lot of time. Well, actually, how you understand this and I how it, it helps you, of course, you have many ideas. I will be very happy to listen to your, to your ideas about this and of course in this part after you match this we're discussing about this okay i'm sure you have maybe a better idea about how to solve some problems here and i'd be wondered to listen to you um thank you for your time for this 15 minutes that you watch um okay so let's see here after this your participation thank you so much